the elections for the President, Vice President, members of the Senate, members of the House of Representatives and local positions held on April 23, 1946, pursuant to Commonwealth Act No. 725. Background Soon after the reconstitution of the Commonwealth government in 1945 Senators Manuel Roxas, Elpidio Quirino and their allies called for the holding on an early national election to choose the President and Vice President of the Philippines and members of the Congress. In December, 1945 the House Insular Affairs Committee of the United States Congress approved the joint resolution setting the election date for not later than April 30, 1946. Prompted by this congressional action, President Sergio Osmeña called the Philippine Congress to a three-day special session. Congress enacted Commonwealth Act No. 725, setting the election on April 23, 1946, and was approved by President Osmeña on January 5, 1946. Candidates Three parties presented their respective candidates for the different national elective positions. These were the Nacionalista Party Conservative Osmeña Wing, the Liberal Wing of the Nacionalista Party, and the Partido Modernista. The Nacionalistas had Osmeña and Senator Eulogio Rodriguez as their candidates for President and Vice President, respectively. The Modernistas chose Hilario Camino Moncado and Luis Salvador for the same positions. The standard bearers of the Liberals were Senators Manuel Roxas and Elpidio Quirino. On January 3, 1946, President Osmeña announced candidacy for President. On January 22, 1946 Eulogio Rodriguez was nominated as Osmeña's running mate for Vice President, in a convention held at Chiro's Club in Manila. According to the Manila Chronicle, the convention opened at 10.15 in the morning when the acting secretary of the party, Vicente Farmoso, called the CONFAB to order. Congressman José C. Romero, who delivered the keynote speech accused Senate President Manuel Roxas and his followers of fanning the flames of discontent among the people, of capitalizing on the people's hardship, and of minimizing the accomplishment of the Osmeña administration. These men with the Messiah complex have been the bane of the country and of the world. This is the mentality that produces Hitler's and the Mussolini's, and their desire to climb to power, they even want to destroy the party which placed them where they are today. Senator Carlos P. Garcia, who delivered the nomination speech for President Sergio Osmeña, made a long recital of Osmeña's achievements, his virtues as public official and as private citizen. Entering the convention hall at about 7.30 p.m., President Osmeña, accompanied by the Committee on Notification, was greeted with rounds of cheer and applause as he ascended the platform. President Osmeña delivered his speech which was a general outline of his future plans once elected. He emphasized that as far as his party is concerned, independence is a close issue. It is definitely coming on July 4, 1946. On January 19, 1946, Senator Roxas announced his candidacy for president in a convention held in Santa Ana Cabaret in Manila. According to Manila Chronicle, Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 more than 3,000. By conservative estimate, there were only 1,000 plus delegates, party members, and hero worshippers jammed into suburban, well known Santa Ana Cabaret, biggest in the world, to acclaim ex Katipunero and Bagong Katipunan organizer Manuel Acuna Roxas as the guidon bearer of the Nationalist of Party's liberal wing. The delegates, who came from all over the islands, met in formal convention from 10.50 a.m. and did not break up till about 5.30 p.m. They elected one, Mariano J. Cuenco, professional osmeniophobe, as temporary chairman, two, Jose Avellino and ex-pharmacist Antonio Zacarias, permanent chairman and secretary, respectively, three, nominated 44 candidates for senators, four, Heard the Generalissimo himself deliver an oratorical masterpiece consisting of 50% attacks against the Osmeña administration, 50% promises, pledges. Rabid Roxasites greeted the Roxas acceptance speech with hysterical applause. 
President Osmeña tried to prevent the split in the Nacionalista Party by offering Senator Roxas the position of Philippine Regent Commissioner to the United States but the latter turned down the offer. As a result of the split among the members of the Nacionalista Party, owing to marked difference of opinion on certain vital issues of which no settlement had been reached, a new political organization was born and named the Liberal Wing of the Nacionalista Party, which would later become the Liberal Party. Results The election was generally peaceful and orderly except in some places where passions ran high, especially in the province of Pampanga. According to the controversial decision of the Electoral Tribunal of the House of Representatives on Melitón Solomon v. Luis Tarek, Pampanga was under the terroristic clutches and control of the Hukbalahaps, so terrorized were the people of a riot. At one time, 200 persons abandoned their homes, their work, and their food, all their belongings in a mass evacuation to the Poblacion due to fear and terror. A total of 2,218,847 voters went to the polls to elect their president and vice president who were to be the Commonwealth's last and the Republic's first. Four days after election day, the liberal candidates were proclaimed victors. Roxas registered an overwhelming majority of votes in 34 provinces and nine cities, Abra, Agusan, Albay, Antique, Bataan, Batanes, Batangas, Bukidnon, Bulacan, Cagayan, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Capiz, Cavite, Cotabato, Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, Isabela, Laguna, La Union, Leyte, Marinduque, Mindoro, Misamis Oriental, Negros Occidental, Nueva Vizcaya, Palawan, Pangasinan, Rizal, Rumblan, Samar, Sorsogan, Sulu, Surigao, Tayabas, Zambales, Manila, Quezon City, Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Iloilo City, Iloilo, Baguio City, Mountain Province, Zamboanga City, Zamboanga, Tagaytay City, Cavite, Cavite City, Cavite, and San Pablo City, Laguna. Likewise, the Liberals won nine out of sixteen contested senatorial seats. In the House of Representatives, the Liberals won an overwhelming majority with 50 seats, while the Nationalists and the Democratic Alliance only got 33 and 6 seats, respectively. President Presidential canvas by province Squared Aklan only became a province on November 8, 1956 by virtue of Republic Act No. 1414. Cubed including the cities of Tagaytay and Cavite. Carat 4 including Cebu City. In Cebu City, Sergio Osmeña got 15,569 votes while Roxas only got 8,759 votes. Carat 5 The present-day provinces of North Cotabato, South Cotabato, Maguindano, Sharif Cabunchuan and Sultan Kudarat were part of the then province of Cotabato. Carat 6 The then province of Lanao was divided in 1959 into two provinces, Lanao del Norte and Lanao del Sur. Vice President Vice Presidential Canvas by Province Senate The first eight senators would serve until 1951, and the second eight until 1949. Carat 1 replaced by Prospero Sanidad as a result of an election protest. House of Representatives See also Commission on Elections Politics of the Philippines Philippine Elections President of the Philippines First Congress of the Philippines References External links the Philippine Presidency Project Official website of the Commission on Elections